Good afternoon to you. Um, my name is Elisa Shamba, and we are here at the Secular Hall uh, for a function for city, uh, conducted by city citizens of Sanctuary. And I am joined by Jonathan Cox. Jonathan, can you briefly tell us what um, will be going on today at this uh, uh, event? Yeah, thanks, Elisha. Um, well, I'm delighted to be in Leicester. My name is Jonathan Cox. I'm the lead organiser of Citizens for Sanctuary. And I've been invited here by City of Sanctuary, the Leicester group, uh, to come and talk about our campaign, which is essentially about trying to implement the recommendations of the Independent Asylum Commission, which was a nationwide review of the whole asylum process mm -hmm. and took place over about 18 months and came up with about 180 recommendations mm -hmm. um, for reform of the system. Mm -hmm. And um, really what I'm about is trying to get people to use the techniques of community organising, yeah. which is what Barack Obama did before he was uh, president. Obama. Yeah, Barack Obama. Yeah. Um, so working with communities mm -hmm. to try and help them to address their problems and their issues themselves. Yeah. So I'm going all the way around the country at the moment, going to Nottingham tonight, I'm going to Southampton, I think it's time, Plymouth, London, mm -hmm. um, working with groups to help them do their own strategies mm -hmm. to try and make change yeah. in their communities and to try and implement these recommendations mm -hmm. to secure justice for people fleeing persecution from refugees um, and to restore public confidence in sanctuary. So of the 180 recommendations, how many do you find out to be working out with the particularly the government? Well, we just really excitingly just had our first negotiation with the border agency uh, this last week um, with senior officials. And the, the best thing about what we do is it's not professional lobbyists or campaigners who go and do that negotiation. It's ordinary people. So yeah. we had a local minister in, some people who have refugee status, some people who have been refused sanctuary from Zimbabwe. Um, we had uh, some just lo local concerned citizens from London mm -hmm. sat around negotiating head-to-head -head with senior civil servants and border agency. Mm -hmm. um, and we're making progress. Um, it's going to take a long time to negotiate all 180, and they're not going to agree to all 180. We're pretty sure of that. Um, but anywhere that we make progress will be significant. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that at a national level, but there's loads of change that can happen mm -hmm. at this level, at a Leicester level. Mm -hmm. There are loads of things that our groups around the country are, yeah. are, are doing, selling up factory exchanges yeah. uh, to combat the injustice of Section 4. Uh, they're getting young people places in university by negotiating with vice chancellors to make sure that there are places available. And we have an internship scheme specifically for Zimbabweans and spread to other nationalities in other parts of the UK. So there are lots of different ways in which we, in which we engage. The Mayor of London, Mr. Boris Johnson, mm -hmm. are you at any point working with uh, him? Well, it's funny you say that because on the 6th of June we have a negotiation with, with Boris Johnson. Yeah. We spoke to him last year before he was mayor yeah. and he made some promises to us. Uh, one of the promises was that he would um, uh, support the Strangers into Citizens campaign, which is a sister campaign of ours calling for regularisation for long term migrants, which includes people who've been refused sanctuary. But he I think also that's a, a bit controversial. It is controversial. It is controversial. Is it but the he supports it. Thing that yes. Well, well, some people we call it an earned regularisation. Yeah. 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 Yes, he supports that. But also, we ask for some very practical things. Mm -hmm. We would like him, as mayor of London, to um, get travel cards for people who've been refused but have to report. We have lots of cases of people who have to travel significant distances mm -hmm. with no cash oh um, to do that. Yeah. Sometimes women and children, mm -hmm. uh, and it's deeply demeaning for those people, and it, it shouldn't happen. Yes. So um, we're going to be asking him uh, yeah. whether he can talk to Transport for London yeah. and to try and come to some solution. Yeah. If that works, we hope to spread that sort of model to the other parts of the UK, which is why I'm here in Leicester, because I want to tell that story and encourage people here uh, that they can make change. Last question. We talk about asylum seekers and failed asylum, mm -hmm. asylum mm -hmm. seekers. Which is your favourite um, way of addressing? Oh, we, such we don't use the term asylum um, for a very simple don't. reason. Yeah. Um, we did some public attitudes research last year, which yeah. found out that only 18% of, of the population of this country think that the term asylum is a positive word. Mm -hmm. I think that's a real problem. Mm. More people in this country. Uh, relate the term asylum to people who are mentally ill than they do to people fleeing from persecution. So we talk about sanctuary, which is why we call it citizens of sanctuary. We talk about people seeking sanctuary because we don't want to label them as seekers. They are people. Um, and so we talk about people seeking sanctuary and people refused sanctuary. Uh, so that's the terminology. Quickly, because our time is yes. out. <laughs> what message do you have today in Leicester yep. for Yes, My message to the people of Leicester is that it is important that you support the system of sanctuary here, it's important that you support people seeking sanctuary, but also you can make change. Ordinary people can change government's mind. They work for us, they are civil servants and representatives of the people. Uh, and by organising together and exercising power together, we can make change. Looking forward to that. All the best then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.